Well, it was another rare dot ball from the RBA board uh, this month. Uh, only the second uh, time that they've chosen to actively pause uh, an interest rate tightening that began uh, in May last year. Uh, the government's decision statement sets out the reasoning more clearly, uh, saying they uh, were looking for additional time to assess how their four percentage point uh, interest rate tightening uh, was affecting things uh, and the refresh of the economic outlook. Uh, the governor's decision statement also warns though that uh, further tightening may still be required. Uh, the next monthly meeting in August uh, will follow important updates on uh, CPI inflation, the June quarter update which provides a much uh, more thorough uh, and clear information update around uh, underlying inflation measures and the services components in particular. Uh, that'll be an important one leading into next month. Uh, we'll also get a refresh of the RBA staff's uh, forecast, the statement of monetary policy for August uh, due out a few days later. Uh, all up though, it does suggest that this is going to be a relatively brief pause. While Australia's mortgage bail will be uh, relieved at uh, a month off uh, rate hikes, uh, the case for additional moves is still strong. We think that June quarter CPI update will again disappoint somewhat. While we've seen, clearly seen the peak in inflation has passed in Australia, progress towards that 2-3% to target is likely to disappoint again uh, and services inflation we suspect will continue to persist at too high a level for the RBA. The focus is really shifting very clearly to that inflation threat and uh, the risk here that uh, we see a more prolonged period of high inflation will be what we expect to see weigh on the uh, RBA in the next couple of months. As I said, we, we see this as mainly a, a one month pause uh, with a further 25 basis point tightening in August and a final move in September beyond which we'll see a more sustained period of rates on hold, eventually giving way to rate cuts next year from May on. July may well have been a dot ball for policy, but the next few meetings are well and truly live.